Hi everyone, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, you're welcome to the Phoebe Way. My name is Phoebe and on this channel we talk about life in Germany, how to settle in Germany smoothly and easily. We talk about topics, we discuss topics that concern us as experts living in Germany and the legal aspects of things and how we should just, you know, navigate through this whole German bureaucracy brouhaha. So everything life in Germany, I'm your girl, I'm your plug. So as you may have seen from this title, it's not just for African experts, but I'm saying African experts because this is my observation as a legal interpreter, I interpret um, in courts for Ghanaian, um, Ghanaians and Nigerians, as in West Africans most of the time because our English is a bit different than other um, countries and that's what I've specialized on basically. But yes, I'm a legal interpreter in Germany and this is most of things I've observed and also I've been here for the past 17 years so some of this is also from my personal experience okay so what you should avoid mistakes that we should all be sensitized to and or sensitized on and try to avoid as much as possible <clears throat> excuse me try to avoid as much as possible and make our lives in Germany much much easier that's one thing so the first thing you probably think it's I'm going to talk about language but no the first I'm, I'm going to talk about is information, getting the right information. A lot of us like to be talking to people who are not really hands-on and who are not really qualified professionals giving us information about certain things, okay? People who do not even, especially in Germany, who would not read the language. I'm going to be using Germany a lot, but it also applies to other um, countries in the diaspora. So it's not just Germany, but let's say if you go to the UK, for example, you also need correct information on how to maybe get registered how to do this how to do that where do you go go to the website okay some of these websites actually have english as well so do so i have the feeling that some of us we are just lazy when it comes to information we feel like they should read and tell you okay that's one thing some people also limit themselves i'll talk about the limitation in a bit but those who want us other people to read and tell them everything and just give them a summary they'll always get like a broken down version of the information because the person will not remember everything, the person will not tell you everything. But you also should also go and read. If you have more questions, seek the advice of a professional person as well, or of an expert because um, comparing your situation, somebody else's situation, you might think that, oh, we have the same situation, but no, some little thing will give them a privilege that you would not get, okay? For example, when it comes to asylum, some people will not even tell you the real details of what they did to get what they have now, or the kind of status they have now. They would only tell you, like, just scratch the surface and give you a little bit of information. They will not tell you exactly what they did, because sometimes probably they also do not know exactly what and why exactly they did, they got something. So, the language being a barrier, I understand, um, but still trying to get information at the right place, at the right source. Do not depend on the hearsay from the African community too much. Go to people who are well read and who actually have experience working in that field to tell you exactly what you need to know, okay? So that's one thing, the right information. And I already said in my very first video that you should inform yourself before coming to Germany about certain things. So. Um, I understand that people want to ask people who are in that situation to help them. How did you do this? How did you do that? How are you doing time? Yes, but first get the information and then you add the person's experience as well. And then you know, like sometimes it's more about the social aspect, like how did you talk to the person and all that, but get your own information, okay? Yes, luggage pool, luggage pool, luggage pool. As I told you the last time, Luggage Pool is here to offer you solutions to your logistics problem. And if you want to help Luggage Pool do that, you should sign up as a driver. If you have a legit, a legit and valid driver's license in Germany, you should sign up if you have a car that has space and that, we, of course, it works for you to earn money on the side if you keep traveling or if you're always traveling. Do that. So it doesn't have to always. It doesn't always have to be a big car, but if you have space in your luggage, for example, you can also um, sign up and also earn money on the side. So that is the other side of luggage pool. You earning money, and the other side is somebody find a solution to the logistic problem. So if you're interested, just check the link in the description box down below. It is the very first link, okay? The very very first link. Check the link in the description box down below, 
and sign up. And upon your first transaction, you get five euros off. If that isn't good, I don't know what else is. So check out Luggage Pool and let me know how it went for you. Number two, let me not dwell on that too much. Number two, my personal experience is when I came to Germany, moving to Germany kind of made me timid. It made me kill a bit of myself. Initially, it was a huge chunk of my self-confidence, but at some point, it became almost all of my self-confidence, okay? And it had to do one with the language barrier because I'm somebody who is a perfectionist. I don't like making mistakes, but German language has taught me to make mistakes and accept being corrected. And that's why I always say that it is not easy. I'm, I will never sit here and say that German is an easy language. No, 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 it is not. But, but you can do it. When you make mistakes, just accept the correction. Laugh over it if you can, if you must, if you should. And try to keep the new word in your mind or the correction in your mind and keep it moving. That's one thing. Another thing that um, was a reason for my being timid and fearful was that I always felt like because I wasn't born here, the kids here have an upper hand. And it also had to do a bit with the culture shock because they'll be talking about things I wouldn't understand. I always felt a bit segregated. Let's just, that's just the word. I couldn't get all the jokes. I didn't understand how they did things and I missed the Ghanaian culture so much. And so I would do things my way and I had to always defend why the way I was doing mine was different, you know, because they also were not used to that. So that always made me very self-aware and uh, yeah, it made me very self-aware. I wasn't, it, it didn't allow me to do things the way I was supposed to do it. You know, it made me waste a lot of time because I was like, mm, they will not understand me. Mm, my, my life is different. You know, yes, it's different, but it's equally fine. It's equally enough. Okay. It's, it, your qualifications are equally enough. Even if you have less experience in something because you didn't grow up here, it doesn't matter. Go out there and make it. Okay, I remember I wouldn't want to write emails because I felt like my la I didn't know enough German. My, my German was too bad. I remember I, I wouldn't want to be making calls and speaking German on the phone, to, even to the library because I feel like I didn't want to make any mistake and embarrass myself. Yes, this was how bad it, my, my timidity, this, yes, timidity it was, okay? And don't allow that to get to you. Don't sell away your self-confidence. And then another thing that made me very self-conscious and also it's a big chunk of my self-confidence was racism because maybe you know i talked about my math teacher once who was always always just making sure my time in school was difficult he he made it a point to make me unhappy okay to make me doubt myself and at some point he was achieving it so my my parents realized no 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 we are not going to let this happen to our child and my mom was always telling me my mom would tell me a lot of good things encourage me and everything but basically it got to a point that she always felt like i have to work harder i have to work harder I would, and it might even sometimes you just get tired of always giving 150 percent okay so just tell yourself that i am going to do just as much as everybody else is i'm the same i'm different but i'm equally enough i am equally enough don't allow somebody's opinion from outside or not allow your circumstances all the time to take to you and rob you of your career dreams rob you of your your purpose in life rob you of your ambitions if you want to become a doctor in germany please become it okay we need you we need you become a doctor if you want to be a lawyer go for it it is not easy but go 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 for it invest the time in it believe in yourself Really, half of it is you believing in yourself and telling yourself that you can do it and pushing yourself. But if you keep t thinking, oh, I can't even speak the language, I can't read the language, language is so tough. Telling from personal experience, yes, it's tough, but we will do it, okay? We will have to do it. Number three, um, since I've already talked about language, let me, talk about, uh, but let me still dwell on the language bit. And not just the language, I've already said many times and over that German language is something that you need. But... It doesn't just stop at the language. Once you come to Germany and you have the chance to enhance your career, learn a trade, do a top-up course, whatever it is, do it. Do it and earn more. Don't sit and, as I already said, limit yourself to something. No, no, no. Learn the language, establish yourself here, do the top-up course. Do it. Like, enhance your career skills, okay? Take full advantage of it and go to school. 
go to school and do it. Don't just sit there and say that because I'm a foreigner here, I don't have the qualification. I will. Ne I never will. It's too. It's never too late for anybody. Do it, okay? Do it. Ihaka is there. There are other um, places like Job Center. You go there if you want to have more information about fort building and house building. I'm going to do a video on that. So if you're not yet subscribed, please do activate the notification button so that once I do it, I, I put the video up. You'll be one of the first to know, okay? Good. So, enhance your career skills. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Another thing that I have observed is that when it comes to property investments, we are so quick to go back home because that is where we know. I get it. And um, there's there's, an, there's a saying that kind of like, you pay the coffee, you know, high neighbor pay coffee and everything. But sometimes your children, we are here. <laughs> your children are here, we are growing up here. Why are you still, you know, taking everything back home? I understand that you feel like you're not welcome here, but it's a ghost bust. You don't want us. We established like the full ground. I mean, that's why I said don't let them limit you. Because this is where you and your kids are comfortable, you're happy, you are growing up, you, you are achieving your dreams, you know. So if you have to take it here as well, as in invest in property here and also make it here like the way other Africans are doing that you can everything please please look into it and start as well we shouldn't limit ourselves at all don't limit yourself okay so the other that's the other side when it comes to investing in properties think of investing in properties in germany as well not only back home of course back home is is fine that's where you know you think you're going to or you you feel you want to go back after some years after your kids have grown up and everything but don't you want to see your grandchildren don't you want to bond with your grandchildren? Mm. Look into buying properties here as well. Let's also do this. I know a lot of people have started it now, but I want to get the message out now, like even louder. Think of investing here as well. Good. I already said, don't let the races get to you. Ignore them. Number five, I believe, is don't take up these black jobs. <laughs> I didn't seem like the termination is a bit weird, but don't take jobs where you're paid directly like in cash where they're not making any pension contributions like it's so risky what if you are that on that side and you injure yourself or somebody gets injured and you you're supposed to be a witness or why would you why why you would be working with other people's ids and stuff what if something happens what do you do what do you do okay i'm not saying this from a place of privilege i'm talking that but i'm, I'm saying it because Sometimes I get worried when people get arrested for these things. I get worried when people feel like they don't have any other option because they don't have a work permit yet. I understand. But if what if something happens? What are you going to do? You know, doing all these um, uh, risky businesses, risky jobs, you know. So think about that. And that's why I said you have to inform yourself because before you come to Germany. And don't be listening to the hearsay and the wrong information that other, other people from the community will be telling you. They'll be advising you to be doing all these illegal things. And this is one thing that is going to be very, very serious for you in Germany. If you want to have your peace of mind in Germany, stay away from illegal businesses. Working illegally is serious. Employing illegal means to get um, your stay here, as in faking the paternity of a child who you know is not yours it all comes with different things you know so let us try as much as possible to stay away from conflicts with the law and stay on the right path okay if you have made mistakes before fine 2022 we have to move clean let's move clean and let's stay away from things that people are advising us and we know that it could have problems because how long will you hide how long will you hide how long will you hide okay so if you're watching this please if you have any questions drop them in the comment section down below if you are not yet subscribed please do i've already told you about luggage pool luggage pool has now has an app as well so if you want to download the app and make money there as a driver as somebody who wants to help with moving, as somebody who keeps traveling, if you're going to Ghana, if you're going to Nigeria, if you're going to wherever in the world, and you feel like, oh, I have space, I can take a letter, I can take a bar of chocolate, I can take somebody's medicine, I have um, space, I have weight, I have free weight, please, 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 sign up on Luggage Pool. I'm going to leave the link up, no, it will be here, yes. I'm going to leave the link up here so that you check it out, you sign up, you create an account, and you get five euros off your first transaction, 
and you even stand the chance to get more bonuses as time goes on up to 200 euros so please please look into the luggage pool register sign up and all of that if you're coming to study in germany if you're studying in germany if you're living in germany you are new in germany hey this is a place of love information and understanding okay this video is no no way to bash anybody but if you have made the mistakes let's try to correct them let's try to make lives easier for each and every one of us and yes one mistake we make is that we don't show love to each other also as expats here as an african expat Ghanaian expat so let's just be loving and encouraging and supportive of each other thank you so much if you like this video it's going to help me here on youtube if you like this video click on the like button subscribe activate your notification button and let me know what else you'd like to see from me okay thank you so much thank you for your comments oh i can't believe it another year has gone by and i'm so so grateful to god and guys i have great news coming to you as well so i'm going to let you know that as well when the time comes probably in the next video crap i'll let you know so thank you so so much for watching see you same time next sunday Adi!